what was supposed to be one of the happiest moments of Alexander Cardinali's life, meeting his new baby, happened four months late thanks to an apparent mix-up. I was in some kind of hell. It was just getting worse. In 2019, his wife Daphna gave birth to a baby that looked nothing like them. They'd used in vitro fertilization and immediately feared something had gone wrong. I think we were hoping if at least one of us was, was genetically related to her, then we could keep her. But I think the biggest fear in all of this is like, am I going to lose my baby? According to their lawsuit, three months later, genetic testing showed their embryo had been switched with another couple's. The solution legally exchanged the children. And our biological child was given to someone else. And the baby that I fought to bring into this world was not mine to keep. The couple is suing their L.A. fertility doctor, clinic, and lab. The other family wants to remain anonymous, but reportedly plans to sue as well. While cases like this have happened in the U.S. before, they are exceedingly rare. But accidents happen, mistakes happen. Fertility lawyer Sherry Levitin says the miraculous thing here is both women successfully gave birth and agreed to switch the babies. I understand that there are a hundred different horrible outcomes, and this was the least horrible of all those outcomes. The Cardinales say their pain is eclipsed by that of their older daughter. As this ordeal has taken away everything that feels safe and has shaken her trust in us as parents. Who can't possibly understand why she lost the little sister she'd grown to love. Chris Glover, CBC News, Washington.